Marie Celeste part one. The Marie Celeste was built in 1861 in Nova Scotia, Canada, as a cargo carrying sailing ship. Early long it given the name the Amazon. It was those luck lucky ship. The first captain died a few days after we registered it. Our oh, first voyage in 1862, it was barely damaged in collision. When we repaired in the port, it caught fire. In 1863, it crossed the Atlantic for the first time, and in the English Channel, it collided on the ship which sank. The Amazon was badly damaged itself. Four years later, in 1867, it ran around from the Cape Breton Island on the Canadian coast. The ship, the ship had almost completely correct, wrecked and had been rebuilt. It was then sold and the name was changed to the Mary Celeste. Sailors are very superstitious and they like sailing a ship we are lucky or we just change their name. Many sailors refused to sail on the Mary Celeste. On the morning of 5th, 1862, the Mary Celeste left New York, Cardi, a cargo in Commerce and other homes in Germany, Italy. in Italy. There were 11 people on board. Captain Briggs, a wife and cruel daughter, was a crew of eight. Briggs was a spirit captain and very religious man. In his cabin, it was harmonious with each play him. A month later, the Mary Celeste was seen by another ship, the De Gracia, about half a billion years old at the Portuguese coast. Captain Morehouse and De Gracia, a fitting company, no words, the ship was sailing strangely. And then the man selected not as a signal, he decided to evacuate. He found a small boat who find I was wrong. The Mary Select was completely deserted. The only light bulb was missing. All the sail went out in good condition. All the cargo was there. The sea had really full storms, the glass on the compass was broken. The window or deck had been had recovered with water banks. The meter water on the car hole were not allowed to be dangerous. The water pumps were working perfectly. They're not full for six months and plenty of fresh water. All the crew with personal suggestion, clothes, boots, tie with the taxi, etc., was on board. The toy on the captain's bed, the food and drink on the captain's table. All the navigation instruments and the ship paper were missing. The last entry in Lockbook had been 11 days earlier, 1,000 kilometers away, but the ship had continued in a straight line. The phone hatch was found open. There were two deep marks on the bows near the water line. There were deep cuts on ship rail made by axe. The old brown blood stain on the deck and on the captain's sword was in the cabin. Captain Mohawk 